Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, on the road again. Seems like that's how it's been. So, unfortunately, I've been having some issues with uploading. I think it's something to do with YouTube and the app. Um, I thought it was just my phone. We're just doing the same. So, Weird. it kind of seems like we're on the road a lot. And it gets annoying um, doing this, and it's part of the off grid lifestyle stuff. And I thought about it, and I was like, if I won the lottery and I won like $50 million, would I still live the same lifestyle, or would I completely change and uh, go buy a big house, fancy cars, and all that? Really, truly, stay the same. I'd say the same. Um, I just try to get internet. <laughs> That's pretty much <laughs> what I would try to do. But yeah, I don't know. We've been places where, you know, in Texas or uh, the Frio River, we've been on these big, huge houses that, you know, sleep 26 people and they're super nice, have hot tubs and, you know, nice pools. It's on the river. Uh, we've been in super nice hotels, um, you know, stuff of that nature, cool Airbnbs in the past and whatnot. But really and truly, like, my favorite lifestyle is just out in the woods. And, uh, I probably wouldn't live as tiny. I'd probably actually have, like, a bathroom and shower on the inside. But... More like a normal house, but just small. I mean, still on the tiny house side. But, I would definitely make sure I had, you know, enough room for a, a shower and stuff. But, it doesn't need to be big, but... Really and truly, I think the only thing that I would, like, go crazy on buying would be, well, land, of course, yeah. I want big land, small house, but I want just a Jeep that is just over-the-top awesome. Lifted, you know, bump, like, good bumpers on it, winches, you know, all that type of stuff. Just good four-wheel drive vehicle. That'd basically be the one thing that I would really... I'd probably spend more on my Jeep than I would my house. And, uh... But, I don't know where I would move to. That'd be something interesting to think about. Do you want to go back to Texas? I mean, if money's not an issue... The only reason I'd move back to Texas to get a bunch of land... Would be close... To be closer to, to my, uh... Parents. But... I would probably rather live in more of a uh, place with better trees than South Texas. South Texas mainly just, I mean, there's some cool spots say, with oak trees, but mainly mesquite trees. Yeah, I would say, like, between Austin and, and Rivera, I mean, somewhere in there. If you're doing the Texas yeah. side, but... For you. Yeah, I can say I am very impressed with Oklahoma, and... Uh, the trees and landscape and rivers and all that stuff that's around here. I don't know. I, w I definitely was not into Oklahoma before moving to Oklahoma. I was like, heck no. Um, I like it. Well, it's, but I was a Texan. I mean, I love Texas too. But I like, I like Oklahoma, Colorado, Montana, Washington, beautiful. Well, wouldn't want to deal with Colorado and Washington and Montana and all that. Yeah, in the winter. Um, Oklahoma, it gets pretty cold, but it ain't up north cold, so I don't know. I would potentially buy a good amount of acres up here in Oklahoma and uh, just stay put here. And then I mean, we'd still have the ranch down in South Texas and I guess we made that much money. Could fly my parents up here. Yeah they could visit and stuff but yeah I don't know I just started thinking about it and I was just like I don't think money really changes my lifestyle now I would probably uh, barbecue a lot more because I'd have the money for it but other than that I mean I still wouldn't go out and buy you know crazy clothes or anything like that I mean I'm wearing a shirt right now that's from Uranus it's a Uranus locksmith company that uh, Kelly Durbin sent me and uh, I, 
prefer shirts like this, just plain shirts from Walmart. Um, I got Walmart jeans on right now. I think even if I made, you know, if I had millions of dollars, I'd probably still buy Walmart jeans. Um, I'm just that type of person. I don't really care about that type of thing. And uh, I'm not really a, a suit and tie. I'm more of a, I don't know, I guess now because I live in the woods, more of a jeans and boots type of guy. But if I could, I would just wear swimming trunks every day and flip flops and uh, be down on the river or go to a beach. I guess that'd be the one thing. All right, I'll take it back. I'd live tiny, but I'd have a house on a beach in Florida. Just buy your own island. All right, maybe I might buy an <laughs> island. That's what my dad said in live chat last night. I said, if money wasn't an issue, you could buy anything. And my dad said, uh, I'd buy an island. It's a good buy. He'd do that just to get away from everybody. I don't blame him. But That'd yeah. be pretty awesome. Maybe I'll build a tiny house on an island there compromise so you're moving to hawaii possibly if i win 50 million dollars somehow shoot i'd love to move to hawaii oh, i thought you were gonna say shoot i'd love to win 50 million dollars i'd love that too um my granny lived in, in hawaii i thought that'd be cool to take her back but now with her health and stuff i don't think that's a very good idea but i know a few people that live in hawaii it's expensive i've looked into it crazy expensive like they live like I know one guy he basically lives he rents a room in a house and he pays a ton for that and I, they don't even have AC um, there in Hawaii you just literally lift the windows up so that's pretty interesting yeah I read a book um, by this lady and she was like a big time lawyer in New York and she sold all everything she owned in Hawaii and uh she said that she lived in a shack and she'd wake up, but it was dirt floors. She'd wake up and there'd be chickens in her house and it was just like that. Yeah. And she said she wouldn't go back. Yeah, I, I walk around barefoot all the time out here and Jalen's like, I don't know how you do that. I just have real sensitive like feet and so I can't walk on like the rocks and stuff and Jason just like doesn't care. Well, yeah. I mean, when you're a kid and you're running through stickers all the time. I mean, as a kid, I, I was barefoot all the time, but now I'm not, and so my feet can't take that anymore, yeah. that abuse. City folk. I think if I won $50 million, I would finish my van, I would give it away to someone who, like, wanted to do the van life stuff, and they didn't have a van or, you know, something of that nature, I'd buy a Sprinter van and just, like, have just a nicer van. people that basically live for that lifestyle and money and all that and, I mean don't get me wrong of course I want as much money as I get because it makes life a little easier but I don't think it would change me or my lifestyle and I don't know even now I mean I've talked about it before but you know YouTube's doing better and uh, at first I mean it was pretty tight pretty tight on money especially when you start YouTube at the very beginning you'll work all month and make a hundred bucks and then now you know it's getting to be pretty comfortable and you know being pretty much completely debt free that you know all the money you get to keep other than what's going into the you know tiny house and van and whatnot but I don't know I still really haven't changed or anything so I don't know it's an interesting house it's all rocks yeah platform yeah, I don't know. I think it's uh, it's strange. I mean, you've known people that won huge amounts of money then blew it all and lost it. Yeah. Um, I personally know someone who won like $3 million and they spent it all like in three months or something. And have nothing. Yeah, nothing to show. Well, maybe like a house, but that's it. Yeah, that's And it wasn't crazy. a million dollar house either. So, you know, stuff like that I think is pretty wild and money changes some people but honestly I don't think it would really change I guess
guess who we are um, kind of just like what we like and I don't know living simple to me is pretty awesome and uh, I don't know it was just it got me thinking whenever just no internet and I was like this is a big pain in the butt uh, doing all this having to drive into town and upload and whatnot so um, if we don't post a whole lot uh, we're trying to get caught up and trying to figure out what's going on with uh, uploading and stuff but yeah uh, we're almost getting in here now so we're gonna try to uh, get all this done and then um, get on with the day we got a lot of work on a lot of build working on Jaylena's van working on the tiny house and uh, doing all that so any final words Suck it up, buttercup. That's my inspirational quote for the day. <laughs> Alright guys, see y'all later.